Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. My name is Kate Bowman. It's rainy and slightly chilly outside today, so it is the perfect opportunity to sip on some hot cocoa and wrap presents. I used to wrap presents over several days because I really struggled with minimalism and Christmas. I don't need gifts, I really genuinely don't, but I love to buy gifts for my kids and my husband. One thing that I have learned on my journey to simplifying and minimizing is that you really have to be aware of your emotional stuff, you know, your your baggage in order to be able to let things go and to be able to change your way of thinking and mindset about certain things. And one of those things for me was presence on Christmas. I grew up in a single parent household, which meant that money was always tight. And at Christmas time, there was never really a whole lot under the Christmas tree. My mom always did the best that she could, but as a kid, I really struggled with the guilt of knowing that she had given us what she could, but you know, being a kid and wanting to wake up to the Christmas dream where there's just a whole mound of presents that are just for you. The stuff that you would see in TV shows and movies. I had always wanted that and it just wasn't a reality for us. So when I had my boys, I wanted to give them the Christmas dream. I wanted them to wake up to the joy and excitement of all kinds of things that were just for them. Basically, I wanted to give them the wow factor on Christmas morning and just see their eyes light up and just see all of the excitement and just enjoy watching them have so much fun with Christmas. But I have to say that even though I really wanted my kids to experience that wow factor, oh, and we gave it to them, delivering that wow factor just became really overwhelming and stressful. We always overspent, which never felt good. And there were so many gifts to wrap during an already crazy time of year. More often than not, it just felt over the top. And if I'm being honest, a little out of control. It was no longer like a joyful, exciting thing. It was just stress all the time. And sadly for a long while, I really kind of dreaded the holiday season. The joy was just kind of being sucked away with all of the stress and the expectations and the overwhelm. And the interesting thing is that now that I look back, I realize that the boys, they didn't even play with a large majority of the things that we got them. They would ask for certain things and we would get them those things. And then we would get them several more things on top of that. And they typically, lo and behold, played with the things that they asked for. So really we wasted a lot of energy and a lot of money on things that just weren't necessary. Over the last couple of years, we have really scaled things back and it feels so good. I like that we stay in budget and really feel in control of our finances. And I definitely love that I can sit down in an afternoon and wrap all of the gifts in just a couple of hours. Everyone gets a couple of special things that they want or need. Now that instead of focusing on the stuff and the things, I love that I focus on that precious thing that I often take for granted. And that is time spent together. Time is a non-renewable resource and tomorrow is never guaranteed. So when you can have those moments where you're together and it's just fun and special, that's what it's all about. And those couple of extra presents are just the cherry on top. I'm gonna go ahead and get these presents wrapped. Maybe you have some presents to wrap too. We can have a little wrapping party. I wanna go ahead and set up a wrapping station, but first I need to go through this box here. This is kind of like where we put our wrapping paper, the boxes, like all of the stuff that you would need to wrap a present. I minimized it last year knowing that we were going to be moving into the tiny house, but we still have a lot of stuff and I am not entirely sure of what it was that I kept, so. We're going to figure this out together. What do I have to wrap Christmas presents with this year? I've got a whole lot of red. Red, 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 red. Most everything at this point is appearing to be red. The wrapping paper is red, the accents are red. Yet, 
Even as I see this and I say this, I refuse to go out and buy anything else because this right here, I have had this wrapping paper for probably six years. I haven't even opened it yet. I imagine it will last for the entire rest of my life. There is so much there. I'm just gonna make do with what I have. And apparently we're going to have a very red under the Christmas tree this year. I'll see what I can do with some gift bags and stuff to kind of even out the color a little bit, but let's do some wrapping. about what's happened to me from July up till now don't know where don't know how lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes so it's true I'm so glad you feel it too nothing to hide falling in love Right, so that is all finished. I'm excited that that didn't take very long. I would say probably about maybe an hour to an hour and a half and everything is wrapped for the entire Christmas season. So that is very exciting. What is not exciting is the huge mess that I made. I have quite the mess to clean up in here. But that's all right, because everything is finished. Let's see, let's come on down here by the gifts. I will say that I don't necessarily love that everything is super duper red. Um, I like to have like some little splashes of color under the Christmas tree. The gift bags that I had that had the little splashes of green in it kind of saved the day. So as much as I'm not entirely excited about adding to the gift wrapping collection, I probably will add some, you know, green ribbon and things like that for next year just to make things look a little bit prettier. So I will definitely be on the lookout for those types of things when they go on sale after the Christmas season. I'm going to take just a couple of minutes to tidy things up and then it's time to put the gifts under the tree. And that is much, much better. It does not take much of having things out of place to make this house a complete disaster. But the good news is, is that it also cleans up very quickly as well. So let's go ahead and get these gifts under the tree. We've already got a couple of lovely little things waiting for us from Brian's mom and dad, but let's go ahead and add a couple more gifts. Well, here we are sitting by the tree after a hard day's work. Not that it was actually all that hard after all. I love that this is how Christmas looks now that we live a more minimal and simple life. I feel so much less stress and just so much more present and able to enjoy what the season is supposed to be all about. I can't wait to have my boys home in just a few days. I can't wait to play games and catch up and share traditions and a few gifts under the Christmas tree. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and join me on the journey to living a more simple life. Until next time, bye. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to